On Open Exchange, miner DRD Gold has reported an 11% increase in full year headline earnings per share. That's to 68 cents. Company also saw profits rise 9% to 679 million rand. Joining us now to look at those numbers is the company CEO Neil Pretorius. Morning, Neil. Thank you. Morning, Bill. Looking at the quarter and the full, if you look at the production for the quarter up 10%, production for the year up 8%, but the operating profit down for the quarter and headline earnings down for the quarter. But again, on the year, encouraging, as we said there, headline earnings up 11%. So the year and the last quarter. Now we're very pleased with uh, the way that the year has ended for us. Uh, it was a year of, of massive consolidation of various circuits into a single circuit. Also the, uh, the commissioning of, of new capital infrastructure. And with those things, more often than not, you, you have a degree of volatility in production. So uh, we were quite pleased with the way that, and relieved with the way that the year ended for us, both on the, uh, the profit side and also on the production side in particular. Just remind us how, what the operation looks like and what you've actually been doing there on the ground. Well, we're okay. essentially doing recycling of old mine tailings. Uh, we, we process just, uh, just shy of 2 million tons of material per month. Uh, we target between 135 and 145,000 ounces per year. We actually managed to, to achieve that this year with 146,000 ounces. And we try and keep our cost base as low as possible through a mechanized process uh, mm -hmm. and, and a, a, a process that never uh, stops. We, we don't have interruptions because of public holidays and so forth. It's been working for us. It's certainly been working for the, for the share price over the last three years. And we are seeing that the register is becoming populated increasingly by reputable uh, investors. Yep. And your, your final dividend there of 14 cents. What has your dividend policy been? And, and uh, are you happy that you'll be able to continue with that? Because uh, yes. it's the kind of gold operation where people are in it for the dividends, aren't they? Yes, uh, absolutely. It's a cash flow play and it's a, it's a dividend yield play. We've been paid, uh, paying dividends now for the last five years. This, this year was the first time that we p uh, paid an interim dividend. The total dividend for the year is 28 cents, which is a 180% increase on the previous year. But we don't hedge. So as a consequence, if there are uh, cycles, down, uh, downward cycles in the gold price, then clearly uh, earnings will decrease. But if they go up again, then uh, earnings will increase. So uh, we, we'll maintain uh, a, a sort of a, a loose, uh, it's not a policy, it, it's more of a target mm. of roughly 30% of, uh, of headline earnings. You have mentioned that you're a mechanized operation mainly, so the gold industry wage dispute issues have not really affected you or have they? Well, uh, there's always the risk. Uh, you can never ignore the, the subtleties of your uh, uh, labor relations. We've been very fortunate in the sense that uh, our employees did not go out on any of these illegal strikes. We don't seem to have the uh, union rivalry in our operations than uh, what you're seeing in many of the other operations. Is that just good luck or good management? Uh, I don't know. Look, uh, our uh, labor force is, is predominantly urbanized. We don't have uh, concentrated little villages of, of employees. Uh, they're fully integrated into, uh, into society or into the areas where they live. Uh, I think we have a, a more operator type employee as opposed to a labor type employee. Uh, but you do have to manage uh, your labor relations very, very carefully. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the, the, the fact that we can pay a handsome dividend is uh, to a large extent attributable to the fact that we did not have labor mm -hmm. interruptions and, and we would want to reward our employees for that and, and mm -hmm. I think they know that too. What about the gold price? I mean for any chief executive waking up in the morning it must be the first thing you look at, <laughs> I presume, um, and certainly it's been very volatile. Come back a bit but still low and the comment has been made how many gold companies globally are, are below the water in terms of yes. making money at present gold prices. This new concept of uh, NCE or notional cash expenditure or all in cash expenditure, because of who we were and where we were, uh, our focus has always been on managing cash flows very carefully and I think you manage gold price by managing costs and building in a degree of optionality in how you uh, uh, configure your operations and we have a lot of switch on switch off technology within our configuration. So we'll keep an eye out on, on costs and, and, the gold price needs, and the gold price needs to take care of itself. We think that, that the, the dynamics for a gold price, uh, the global dynamics for a gold price and indicators in the longer term uh, still remain very good. Uh, we have on our board uh, people who understand both the investor market and the gold market very, very well. Our, sh our chairman used to be a trader. Uh, one of our senior non-execs understands gold price dynamics and currency dynamics very well. So we will continue to take full exposure to the gold price, we won't hedge, and just very carefully manage our costs and maintain the optionality that we have in our operations. Mm. What, uh, it all sounds like it's going well, given the sector, it sounds like you're doing better than most and uh, with a bit of luck perhaps uh, more stable than most as you say. What are the things that are worrying you most at the moment? Um, well that's, that's quite interesting. Uh, I think 
the liberalization of, of uh, labor forces, uh, the stability in South Africa generally. Uh, I'm concerned about the dip in, in production uh, and the effect that that's going to have on, uh, on uh, the costs of consumables in particular. Yeah. We have to maintain uh, economies of scale within industry itself. Mm. And, the, uh, and the relevance of, of gold uh, mining investments generally, mm. uh, the attractiveness of that in, in the, gold, uh, uh, the global investor market. So, mm. so those are the things. Operationally, uh, not too much, but uh, uh, I think the, the global dynamics and, and the local dynamics, national mm. dynamics uh, around mining mm. are, are a bit of a concern. Costs. Electricity is the one that all miners have to look at. Uh, mm. Input costs, if there's a weak around, some of your input costs go up. Uh, how's that looking? Well, uh, we are, have maintained a 10% year-on-year increase. In fact, uh, we, we analyzed our costs over the last 30 years, uh, particularly our costs per tonne, and we have for some reason, uh, maintain a very steady 7.5% increase over the entire life of, of this particular circuit, this particular operation. And we do seem to manage to, to stay sort of within double digits, just uh, on 10% or just below 10%. Mm. Um, you've got to manage these things very, very carefully. Technologies improve the whole time. For example, the amount of power that you consume with your pumping technology, you can decrease that. And we've managed an 18% decrease in that regard by installing a different type of lining in our pipelines. We have a vast network of pipelines. You've got to be very smart. You've got to be smarter and, 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 uh, and on the ball when it comes to the type of technologies that you use. We'll leave it there. That's Neil Pretorius. Thanks for coming into the studio. He is Chief Executive of DRD Gold on their numbers.